action, the emotion, the grand world. It was all there. I saw it as this great female empowerment story. An incredible artist named Kashiro created Alita Battle Angel 30 years ago. Kashiro's creation is something that inspires dreams. Alita Battle Angel is about a girl who is plopped into the world not knowing who she is. What's that? Zalib. And she goes on a journey of self-discovery and discovers that she's not an insignificant girl at all. She is someone quite extraordinary. Dance a little, flea. <laughs> It's all about this. If you can make the audience believe that that character is real in a tight close-up, and frankly, what are the only people that I trusted to be able to do that? I think we've been able to create a seamless blend of live action and synthetic action in one single frame. She's just realer than real. I love it. If you asked me about the timing of making Alita, it's not the technology. It was finding Rosa Salazar. Rosa Salazar is fantastic. I'm a warrior, aren't I? I loved her, and I felt like her. She was my person to look up to. It's amazing seeing Rosa's spirit, her light, come through the Alita character. When you see something like this, it's like something that looks so different than anything else. We need a movie like this right now. And I'm just an insignificant girl. Yeah, that's what they want you to think. Well, I have to say congratulations to you, uh, all three of you. What Thank a great you. film. Exciting, Thank fantastic. You. You've probably heard a million times today. <coughs> right? um, Not enough. Not enough. I like it. Well, what I have to say, I didn't know what I would uh, get yeah. out of seeing the film last night, but I did at the end. I'm like, this is such a great Thanks. movie. It's, I had so much fun, yeah. and uh, you were amazing. Yeah. So I heard there was an intensive, extensive search for this role. Oh, how, yes. how were you able to stand out among the talents? Just being the wonderful her that she is, super talented, <laughs> just so gracious, and her spirit just, she exudes that spirit. And that's what Alita needs to be. I mean, look, she's like, look how big her name is above that. Yeah. You need to walk away with a sense of somebody really special. Yeah. And it starts with the actress. I mean, this, all the CG in the world would be able to help that if, if the performance wasn't there. And she gave it so effortlessly. Oh, I'm sorry, you were supposed to Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 so effortlessly that we needed that, somebody who could just embody her, be her any moment, because she's, it's not like when the camera's on her, now she has to be it, the camera is always on her, mm. she always has to be a leader, she's by the way, the performance capture works, mm. even when the camera's not on her, she's always being recorded, wow. and she just was like that, that we had somebody that we go, we, we'll get so much great stuff out of her. She's so fresh and different in every take that um, we'll have something that's just explosive on screen and CG because it started with her performance. And it's a complex character who yeah. goes through many different metamorphoses herself as, as a character in the story. And Rosa was able to embody every one of those and bring a uniqueness to it. And each one created a, a, its own empathy for the audience whether it's the naive girl at the beginning, yeah. whether it's the girl who, who discovers love and, and between a boy and even a father figure, or the warrior who's there seeking revenge. Yeah. Well, I have to say, some of, some of my favorite scenes in the film was your martial arts movie. So let's Thanks. talk about, about that a little bit. Can you talk about the, you know, wushu processing martial arts scenes? And how, was it tough and challenging for you to study? Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, my sensei was there actually last night with his three daughters and his wife and got to see the film and he was so impressed. I mean, he's doing the training, but he doesn't necessarily get to go to the set and, mm -hmm. and see me in action. And when he saw me up there, he's like, you're doing so much more than <laughs> anybody had anticipated you would do. Originally, I was going in there to get my endurance up, to be able to like, you know, do two kicks and not, not get winded. To be able to perform in the you know performance capture suit uh, on a regular basis every single day for you know 10 plus hours a day, um, but I, I I went in there and I got physically strong. But what was an interesting byproduct of the training was getting mentally strong. Um, uh, often you're you know slapped in the face by your limitations, and uh, martial arts is not a, a you know it's not meant to be perfected. It's a practice. Yeah. 
Um, so I needed to work through um, my, uh, my limitations. I needed to learn that lesson of determination and that ended up being the key component to Alita. Yeah. So it was, it, the, that training was everything. Great job. Thank really, you. I would go see the film again. So Thank you. Thank you so much. You should and bring your friends. The woman in my memory called me 99. What you saw was a flash of your previous life. Who was I? In time you'll remember. <laughs>